Lisa Pathfinder's unique space experiment scheduled to fly in 2015. Its purpose is to demonstrate key technologies for the first gravitational wave observatory in space. One of its key components, the optical bench, has now demonstrated that it meets or exceeds all requirements. Lisa Pathfinder, as the name might suggest, is not a, a science mission on its own, it is a pathfinder. The aim of the whole project is to build LISA to detect gravitational waves in, in space. The whole idea of Pathfinder is to remove a lot of the risk for a space-blown gravitational wave detector. LISA is such a big leap from anything that has flown before that it would seem as far too risky to try and improve things by inertial sensor by a factor of a thousand or more in a single step. A lot of the challenges are the same. You still need an optical bench to read out the position of the local test mass very precisely. You still need thrusters. You still need a lot of the same technologies for, for LISA as we are demonstrating with LISA Pathfinder. So LISA Pathfinder will put us in a really very strong position to be able to realise the LISA mission. The optical bench is the heart of the LISA Pathfinder spacecraft and the actual experiment. Its optical components, mirrors and splitters made of glass, are able to distribute and direct the light from two lasers so that there are actually four complete interferometers at work on the optical bench. This system continually measures the distance between two test masses which are at absolute rest. This is how it is possible to test a laser interferometer which will later span millions of kilometers between three spacecrafts. The design of the optical bench Fundamentally its aim is to measure the separation of two test masses and the two test masses are separated by 40 odd centimetres. So the optical bench has to fit into that and that is your starting point and then you have to go ahead and design an optical system that will fit in there and will perform all the measurements that you need to perform. So the space constraints and the the geometrical constraints essentially of the, the test masses define what you have to work with and then you just have to be clever enough to fit everything in that you need to fit in. Scientists had to develop many things from scratch, from the laser feed to the building techniques used in the optical bench. The precise alignment of the optical components is a technological masterpiece. There's now light on the optical bench. The mirrors and splitters have to be fixed onto the base plate with sub-micrometer tolerances. Components are fixed onto the base plate by a process adapted by the Scottish scientists called silicate bonding. Yeah, well, they were able to perfect yeah, the bonding method by using their own tests, checking the performance of the optical system against how they know it should work. The design of the optical bench was developed by the Institute of Gravitational Research Glasgow together with the Albert Einstein Institute Hanover. Oh yes, compressing things down to a small size is very challenging. It's much easier. The first prototype we built was about four times the area and had only three instead of four interferometers. And we thought that was quite challenging. But coming to a satellite system, space and mass are clearly at an absolute premium. So you have to compress things down as much as possible. And the real difficulty comes in just getting access to the, to the various different parts of the bench when you're trying to do very fine alignments. This was a a new development one that we were confident that we could achieve, but to actually achieve it, to align some of the optical components to the levels, to the, the very minute levels, sub-micron alignment of optical components, to actually achieve this and then to verify it and measure it was very satisfying indeed. But precision and the exact measurements were not enough for the scientists. The optical bench also has to be extremely robust and reliable. So in the past weeks, the glass masterpiece was exposed to varying environmental conditions, focusing mainly on the effects of cold, heat and severe physical vibration. Making something robust for a space environment in some ways is, is relatively easy. Once the thing is in space, it's in a very stable environment thermally there is really is nothing much happening, it's at room temperature and the, there is no real change in the temperature. The radiation is a little bit of a worry, but for the optics here, they're few silica, they're pretty much immune to radiation damage, that's not a problem. So the real difficulty is building something that's robust enough, frankly, to survive in the rocket on the way up there. That is by far the hardest part of the whole project. The vibrations in terms when you're launching something are remarkably unpleasant. 
and you have to build something that can survive that and maintain its micron type alignment once it gets into orbit. So the real challenge is in the, the mechanical design to withstand the first few minutes of its life. After it's got there, it's really quite happy. Tests and simulations made at the University of Glasgow proved that the optical bench and its various components, like mirrors and photodiodes, work as precisely and reliably as expected, and that it will reach its workplace and orbit intact. The optical bench is now ready for the next step, the integration into the experiment and the spacecraft LISA Pathfinder. Actually getting data from it will be tremendously exciting and trying to figure out the inevitable inconsistencies or things you weren't quite expecting, I think that, that really is the excitement of it. Pathfinder is challenging because it's the first time we've done a lot of the uh, technological work that is needed for LISA. LISA has extra challenges, um, but a lot of the big kind of real unknowns will have been solved by Pathfinder. So the, uh, the technologies that we've used in Pathfinder, the vacuum cans and the, the test mass housing, these kind of things, they can all be used directly for LISA. So the uh, LISA Pathfinder mission has been incredibly important for paving the way for, for LISA. The optical bench is a milestone on the road to the space-based gravitational wave detector. Scientists at Glasgow have created the world's most precise space flight interferometer.